In this tutorial, we're going to be configuring a web webhook to receive a notification when a return email should be sent to the customer. This type of configuration will be used by enterprises that are looking to do custom return email integrations with third parties not supported by UltraCart. To start, navigate to the configuration menu and then to webhooks. Clicking the add button We'll specify the URL to our script that is to receive the webhook. Click Save. This will load all of the webhooks that are available. We'll choose Checkout, Cart, Send, Return, Email. And then we'll configure the expansion string. For reference, the expansion string can be found under www.ultracart.com API in the API reference guide. In this scenario we recommend checkout, comma, coupon, comma, item, comma, shipping, comma, billing. That'll contain most of the information that you need. Clicking save, the webhook will save. And now we're going to go to operations and marketing. Then return email. And we'll need to configure the send return email after one hour and then we'll choose the abandoned interval of 168 hours, which is one week. This is important as this particular setting will determine when the webhook actually fires and failure to configure this will prevent the webhook from firing. Once that's configured, you can place a test order, start placing a test order on your site, then abandon it, giving it the appropriate amount of time to trigger the abandoned interval. Once you have some test data on your account, you can come back and click test to see what the sample payload will look like. Here you can see the checkout cart send return email event would be included, as well as the return email code where that, that is necessary if you're using a checkout API to actually send the customer back to the cart. 